and it takes just some hard work and a little sacrifice and just to make the difference. Oh, yeah, it does. Um, the uh, sacrifice that it takes for an athlete today is uh, not like it was years ago mm -hmm. because uh, more is expected of that, those athletes today than um, they were a few years ago. Well, you know, you got – the training schedule and and plus they're gonna uh, their work schedule as in you know doing their studies and things like that so it has to be a good balance of that well there has to be the balance and uh, they have to be dedicated toward that balance right uh, in other words I can't spend too much time on uh, um, uh, things that they would like to do um, basically they have to have a set of priorities and mm -hmm. a set of priorities have to has to line up according to uh, their work schedule, their training schedule, and um, books. Where exactly is the University of the Cumberlands located? Williamsburg, Kentucky. Williamsburg. Yep. And the hours of operation? Well, 24 hours a day. 24 <laughs> hours a day. Okay, so it's a stay on campus. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. And a lot of these athletes, you know, they get up in the morning and do their school, do their uh, studies, and then they're off to the gym? No, the gym comes first. You know, at 5 o'clock in the morning, uh, there's not too many people, too many libraries open on campus. Okay. So they're going to come, you know, uh, the, I'm talking basically football players. And they're they're going to be there at 5 um, one group will finish at 6, another group will come in at, at 6 and finish at 7. Give me and the people that's watching and listening just a basic of the workout. You know, a lot of people uh, may have got away from working out and, you know, staying physical fit. But these young men have to get up at 5 o'clock, like you said. And what's the basic what they have to do? Well, on uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is our lift days. And we have agilities on Tuesday, Thursday, and uh, we're past the agilities now because we're just finished up spring practice, so uh, we're working three days a week rather than five mm -hmm. um, right now. So um, basically it will be an upper and lower body workout um, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So there's a lot of cardio involved, like uh, treadmills or anything like that? Well, the cardio comes from uh, the speed of, doing the reps and the sets. So okay. We do have a little bit of cardio in the workout. So do they have to, like, run laps and, and things like that? Uh, there's no, not even running at this time. Okay. It was it was in, in the Tuesday, Thursday workout. You see, a lot of people don't realize, you know, the, the aspects of these young men when they're lifting these weights, they just don't lift them one or two times. They do different sets of these, and they're constant going, you know. Well, um, yeah, the sets and the reps are determined by uh, the program that you uh, uh, have for them. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, some some parts of the body need to be worked with slow, uh, low reps and, and uh, high sets and other parts of the body needs to be worked with high reps and, and uh, low sets and vice versa. And no matter how strong an athlete may be, there's always some sort of injury that could occur. Well, um, I don't, uh, I haven't been around too many injuries that occur in the weight room. Huh? I mean like on the field. Oh, on the field, that, uh, yeah, that's uh, taken into consideration by our trainers and, and uh, we have a good group of trainers, and, and they do a great job taking care of our, our football players. Right. So they got to follow instructions. You know, they just can't do it their own way, or it will cause an accident, will cause a pop injury or something like that. Well, um, the injuries are usually caused uh, not by overtraining, but by um, just uh, the nature of the sport. Right. And, you know, it is so wonderful. Do you have a, like a, a, you know, I know you got the football team. You've got a basketball team as well. Well, um, yeah, we do. I, I don't, uh, I am not involved with uh, other sports other than 
football. So, uh, okay. But we do have basketball. We have volleyball. We have uh, uh, track, girls and boys. We have softball, and that's that's in and baseball. How many uh, young men are on the team? We have uh, uh, about a hundred, uh, give or take a few, uh, right now, and we're expecting about a hundred coming. Uh, another hundred on top of that. So we'll have 200, uh, uh, close to 200. Close um, to 200. Yeah. That's Coming amazing. To, uh, August. And, you know, they each individual gets that training and gets that experience and got people there to train them and talk to them and mentor them. That's wonderful. Well, um, we've been impressed with uh, what has taken place over the last few years at University. Coach Bland did a great job. Now Coach Reimer is coming in. He's doing a he's doing a great job, and we're we're excited. And that's what builds the momentum of uh, being uh, being excited. 